I often get asked the question about the difference between using find and using dsearchn in MATLAB. So I thought I'd have a quick video to illustrate the differences. So imagine you have some vector v, and I'm just creating this vector v to skip from 0 to 20 in increments of 2. You can imagine that this is a vector of time points, for example, at which your measurement sensor acquired data. Okay, and now to illustrate the difference between find and dsearch n, I'm going to create another vector w that's basically the same thing as v plus a tiny, tiny, tiny number. So this is like, I don't even know how many zeros there are here. So here you see w. Now at this level of precision in the command window display, you don't even see that there's any non-zero numbers out here. So for all intents and purposes, this w is basically the same thing as v. It has a tiny, tiny little bit extra. Okay, so now imagine we want to find the element in v that corresponds to the number 10. So you can see here just by looking, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's the sixth number, the sixth element in vector v has a value of 10. So here I'm saying, find v equals 10. And what this line of code is doing is actually first comparing each individual element in v to the number 10. That's what we get with this double equal sign here. We're asking the question, is each element in v equal to the number 10? And the answer is false, 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 true. And now I'm using find to find all of the non-zero elements in this array. And that's going to return 6. So I say find v equals 10, MATLAB returns 6, and that means that the sixth element in v contains exactly 10. So I can say v6, and that returns 10. On the other hand, if I try the same thing with w, now let's look at w again. Now when you look at these numbers here, it's pretty obvious that the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 number is still 10. However, when I type find w equals 10, MATLAB says empty matrix. And that's because you and I might consider this number to be basically 10. You know, maybe this is just some tiny rounding error or some numerical processing error. But MATLAB looks at this and says, well, you know, this is not technically exactly equal to 10. And that is a problem that can be solved with dsearchn. So here I'm going to use the function dsearchn input v, vector v, and then comma 10. And now this is going to tell me 6. So at this level, with this example, with this vector v, find v equals 10 and dsearch n v, I'll get to this apostrophe here, this transpose in a moment. So dsearch n v 10, those are doing exactly the same thing. So in this case, you could say, it doesn't matter which one you use, this one or this one, they will both give the same answer. However, now when we get to w, we are actually going to get something different from what we got here. Remember here, we got an empty result, but here with dsearch n, we still get the number six, which means the sixth element is as close as possible to the number 10 within the vector w. So you can imagine a situation where dsearch n is actually preferable to use relative to find. On the other hand, here is a potentially dangerous situation where you could get an unexpected result that might possibly lead to confusion or errors later on in the code. So I can say, find me the element in vector w that is as close as possible to this really large number, four and then who knows how many zeros, an uncountable number of zeros. And now let's see what this result is. Okay, so first of all, we get an error. It says error using dsearchn. x and xi should have the same column dimension. Whenever you see an error message like this with dsearchn, the first thing you should think about is transposing one or both of the inputs. And the reason is that dsearchn is always expecting column inputs, but I created these vectors to be rows, and that's why we get that error, and that's why I have these transposes up here. So now I'll transpose. 
And now the output of this equation is 11, and looking back at vector w, that kind of is, you know, technically correct. The number 20 is as close as possible to this really large number within this vector set. But it's certainly not very close, so this is just something to be aware of when you're using dsearchn, that basically it's always going to give a result, even if that result is not necessarily sensible. So there you go. In this quick video, I showed you the differences and the similarities between using the find command and using dsearchn.